You might have planned trips to Santa Monica or LA before, but when it comes to California, there's one spot that gets often overlooked, and that's the very walkable, adorably artsy, charm-filled city of Long Beach. In fact, we'd put Long Beach on our California bucket list before most cities in the Golden State. Stroll the waterfront for boutique shopping, great seafood eats, and the Pacific sunsets with a drink in hand. There are a ton of exciting museums and unusual architecture to keep the culturally minded busy. Those with a green thumb will be enamored of the various gardens dotted throughout the city. And you can take the kids to one of the best aquariums in the country. So if you're looking for things to do in Long Beach, California, or curious if it's the spot for your next vacation, keep watching for our picks in this perfect all-season destination. Walter Pyramid are you into university basketball or volleyball? And do you love wildly unusual architectural structures? Then be sure to add a visit to the Walter Pyramid to your Long Beach sightseeing list. This bright red triangular stadium sits within the campus of California State University Long Beach and it's just a 15-minute drive from the center of town. It's made of aluminum and over 18 stories tall. And math nerds will love this fact, it's one of only four mathematically accurate pyramids in America. Each side measures precisely 105 meters. While it's primarily used for basketball and volleyball games, some other sports are played here, so check out the stadium's website before you go. Shoreline Village there are few places in Long Beach as charming and lively as Shoreline Village. It's part of the Rainbow Harbor, conveniently located a short walk from downtown. Head here if you're looking for something to do from morning to evening. Enjoy a seafood brunch at one of the many quality eateries, then spend the afternoon shopping for new Long Beach looks to impress your friends when you get back. And don't forget to pick up a few local souvenirs for the family while you're browsing. If you're looking for dinner with a view, we recommend the famous Parker's Lighthouse Restaurant, plus the fresh fish they serve can't be beaten. Finish the night listening to live music or playing arcade games on the boardwalk. Before we tell you more about the best of Long Beach, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Viewcation if you haven't already. El Dorado East Regional Park if you want to get out of the city, you only have to drive for 15 minutes northeast, and then you'll be surrounded by nature. The El Dorado East Regional Park has playgrounds and picnic areas for families and bike and hiking trails for fitness fanatics. For people wanting to engage in some sport on vacation, there are volleyball and basketball courts, disc golf courses, a skate park, and even archery ranges. If you do take one of the many nature trails, be sure to stop and read all the informative signage along the way. You'll learn a lot about the area's native animals and plants. Naples Island It's been hard to travel these past few years internationally, but if you visit Long Beach, you can have the chance to experience a small slice of Italy. The wealthy neighborhood of Naples Island is themed according to its heritage. Even the street names are in Italian. Pretend you're in Venice and take a gondola ride through the canals. Or, for the more adventurous, rent kayaks and paddle yourself around. Head to La Bella Fontana Park to admire the three-tier fountain, do a spot of shopping, and grab a bite. There's even a tiny beach to build a few sandcastles or read a book in the sun. If you're there at Christmas time, be sure to join a Christmas lights tour. Belmont Shore it takes only 10 minutes to drive from city center to this epitome of the laid-back Californian lifestyle. Cute stores sell everything from vintage clothing to handmade ceramics, cozy cafes and eateries, and hip bars. If you're into architecture, you'll love walking the streets, admiring the neighborhood's iconic Spanish-style homes. But best of all, Belmont Shore has one of the most beautiful suburban beaches in Long Beach. Stroll the soft sands to the Belmont Veterans Memorial Pier or go cycling, swimming, or kite surfing. Catalina Express Are you tired of simply looking at the water and want to get out on it instead? Then jump on the Catalina Express and hitch a ride to Catalina Island. This idyllic spot has been popular with locals and visitors since the 1920s, but the public ferry service has only been up and running since the 80s, so this was once a really exclusive island. Head there for the cafe culture, beach exploring, and shopping. The ferry ride takes an hour one way, and there's a fantastic ocean scenery to enjoy on the way. Plan to be away for the day if you can. Aquarium of the Pacific do your kids love ocean creatures? Then you definitely need to book the family a trip to the Aquarium of the Pacific. It's one of the top attractions in Long Beach for a reason. This aquatic educational center was started in the late 90s and now has an incredible 11,000 animals and 500 different species in its care. You and your kids can get up close and personal with the biggest sea inhabitants, like sharks and sea lions, to the smallest, like jellyfish, penguins, and all kinds of fish. There's even a touch pool where the kids can pet rays and sharks. Long Beach Museum of Art 
The Long Beach Museum of Art is unique in that it overlooks the ocean, so you can take in the beauty of the sea while you browse unique local art, from furniture and sculptures to paintings and illustrations. The collection started in the 1950s when wealthy philanthropist Elizabeth Milbank Anderson gave her summer home to art. Today, there are around 3,000 artworks in the archives, which the museum rotates through permanent exhibitions. And there's an outdoor sculpture garden to wander through, and if you get hungry, grab a bite at the on-site restaurant. The museum also hosts temporary exhibitions, so be sure to check the website to see what's going on while you're visiting. The Queen Mary The Queen Mary is an iconic luxury cruise ship that sailed the North Atlantic Ocean between 1936 and 67, taking dignitaries like the Duke and Duchess of Windsor and Winston Churchill between England and America. Today, anyone can visit the boat since it's been converted into a luxury hotel and permanently moored at Long Beach. The Art Deco interiors and exquisite furnishings are incredibly well preserved. In fact, this ship is larger and more beautifully fitted out than the infamous Titanic was. We recommend getting dressed in your finest flapper outfit and enjoying some jazz-era cocktails in the Art Deco-themed lounge. If you want to stay a night or two here, check the website for booking details. Long Beach Waterfront Another fun neighborhood to check out is the Long Beach Waterfront. And if you visit the aquarium, you'll already be there. Rambling along the esplanade, looking at the water, the boats, and engaging with numerous vendors would be interesting enough, but there are also great shops to peruse, fine restaurants to dine at, and the picturesque Shoreline Aquatic Park to play or picnic in. If you're in the mood for a longer excursion, this is where you can book whale-watching tours and fishing trips too. There are often family-friendly events, concerts, and expos at the convention center, so check ahead to see what's on. Museum of Latin American Art the Museum of Latin American Art isn't just home to some of the country's finest modern and contemporary Latin American and Latino art, it's also an interestingly designed building that was once a silent film studio and roller skating rink. This historical space was transformed into an art museum in the mid-90s, and today, visitors can view over 1,500 artworks, from paintings and drawings to photography and video works. Don't forget to head outside if the weather is good, there's an entire sculpture garden to explore. Earl Burns Miller Japanese Garden One of the more unusual tourist hotspots in Long Beach is the Earl Burns Miller Japanese Garden. This beautifully peaceful locale was started in the early 1980s and themed on the Imperial Gardens in Tokyo. It features the requisite stone lanterns, carp ponds, decorative pagodas, and a traditional tea house. If you go in the right season, you'll be treated to a romantic display of pink cherry blossoms or the excitement of a koi auction. Now it's time to hear from you. Did we miss any of your favorite things in Long Beach? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Viewcation if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.